Hey everybody, it's Todd Bishop from GeekWire here with a special edition of Geared Up. As you know, on our weekly podcast and video show, we've been talking about Alexa integration into Windows PCs a lot lately. There are a number of PC manufacturers that are coming out with new integrations of Amazon's virtual assistant into their computers, coming directly onto the turf of Microsoft's Cortana. I have been testing out Alexa integration on this brand new Acer Spin 5 laptop. This is touted to be one of the first notebook computers to ship with Amazon's Alexa enabled. In fact, it arrived and they literally have it touted on the box. I'll show it to you right here. They have a sticker that says Amazon Alexa enabled. And I'm sure many of you are familiar on your own computers with the Intel sticker on the laptop right below the keyboard. And right here on the bottom of the laptop keyboard, they have Amazon Alexa enabled. So clearly this is a way that PC manufacturers with PC sales being largely sluggish are looking to boost at least the interest in their computers. You're basically browsing along and you see, oh wait, this has got Alexa inside. It must be pretty cool. So is it or is it not? I've been testing it out over the past weekend and I have to say there are lots of interesting things that Alexa can do on a PC, but there are also lots of shortcomings and frankly some things that made me puzzled about why Amazon didn't do some obvious things to better integrate Alexa into the PC. That said, in some ways it's better than Cortana. So with that intro, let's dive in. Here is Amazon's Alexa on the new Acer Spin 5. First off, you'll notice that it is down in the taskbar. Now, my first point is that Alexa is not native to the Windows experience. Even though it's touted on the box and you're buying it perhaps because it has Alexa inside, this feels very much just like a third-party app that was kind of slapped onto here. For example, you get into it and you can hear Alexa is activating in the background as we talk about her. Uh, you open up and you boot up the computer if you didn't know that Alexa was on here, you wouldn't know to open it. I had to actually search for Amazon Alexa in the app list uh, through the Cortana interface to find Alexa, ironically. But what was in the actual taskbar in the Windows frame, interestingly, was the Amazon Shopping app. Not Alexa, but the Amazon shopping app. It was fascinating to me. Clearly, Amazon has worked out some kind of commercial arrangement with Acer. And clearly, the most important thing to Amazon in that regard was not getting Alexa into the taskbar, but instead getting its shopping app. So you can see a little bit about the priorities there. So that said, it was pre-installed, Alexa was, which is something you cannot get on other PCs. You can't get it into a marketplace. It actually is a unique selling point of this and some of the other devices that are going to be coming out with Alexa. Now, it works okay. It mostly recognizes when you say, Alexa, add something to my shopping list. What can I add for you? Grapes and almond milk. Grape almond milk added to your shopping list. Wow, so that was way off at any rate. <laughs> that is sort of a good example. You could hear the slight pause. This is not exactly the same experience as you would get on an Echo device. Now, that said, Alexa excels in places that Cortana, Microsoft's built-in assistant, does not. For example, I have here on the desk next to me a lamp with a smart bulb built in. It is a TP-Link smart bulb. So technically, it is supposed to work with both Cortana and Alexa. So what I did was I tested it to see which ones of those it would work with. So let's try it out. Alexa, turn on light two. Alexa, turn on light two. And as you can see, the light actually illuminated on the desk next to me. Alexa, turn light to red. A few things share that name. Which one did you want? Light two. Okay. All right, so it worked. A little bit of a glitch there in terms of recognizing what I was saying, but it certainly worked. Pretty impressive to be able to control your smart home through a third-party app 
in that way. Now let's try this. Hey, Cortana. Turn on light two. I can help you control your devices hands-free. Just open the Cortana app, choose notebook, then choose connect at home. Okay, here's the thing with this. I spent probably two hours trying to figure out how to do this. I went to the Cortana notebook. I hooked everything up correctly through TP-Link. It shows me the two lamps that I did in the Cortana notebook. Everything looks right, and it simply will not work. Now, I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Here's the thing, though. There is so much more documentation on smart home integration with the Alexa than there is with Cortana. And so in that way, frankly, you are just so much better off at this point, even with the limited integrations that Microsoft has with smart home, you're so much better off in terms of your support and figuring out how to do smart home integrations with Amazon Alexa. So clearly, Alexa is stronger in the smart home area. Now, where Cortana still excels is in Windows integration. Let me give you an example. Cortana. Hmm, I'm not sure. Hey, Cortana. Launch Slack. Okay, opening Slack. All right, you can see that full screen experience. It didn't actually open the Slack app, it opened the Slack website, which is not what I wanted, but still, for the most part, Cortana can reliably be used to launch apps and other things that are integrated into the OS. Let's try it with Amazon's virtual assistant. Alexa, open Slack. Do you mean Slack with voice? Yes. Here's a skill, Slack with voice, created by Miha Masoom. Hello, welcome to Slack with voice. I am an unofficial voice user interface for Slack. Alexa. You can send and read Slack. Stop. Okay, potentially useful, not what I wanted, not integrated with the OS. This also gets into a bigger question about voice assistants on laptop computers because, frankly, voice assistants, voice assistants are useful when you don't have access to a keyboard. Here you have the ultimate, the ultimate device for keyboard and mouse, the computer. I think that the actual utility of voice assistants on these devices is somewhat minimal. That said, it's, a, it's an interesting integration. Now, last point I want to make, um, Amazon doesn't seem like it's really trying here with this Alexa integration. I'll give you a good example. Here is what the actual app looks like. So it is essentially a version of the mobile app that logs all of your Alexa activity. And I was sitting here doing this and it was, you know, pretty cool. You know, okay, I can see everything that I did just like I could on my iPhone if I go in and see the record of Alexa activity. It's, but it's black and white not very graphical. And then I went home and I was looking at my Amazon Echo Show and that beautiful square interface. My question is, why didn't Amazon take the interface for the Echo Show and make it into an app on Windows 10? To me, that's the kind of integration that would truly justify calling this an Alexa native device or touting the fact that Alexa is integrated. So to me, Amazon really has kind of a first minimum viable product here in terms of its Alexa integration, not on the level that's really going to reignite interest in personal computers as a form of computing. And in that way, I feel like it's a good first step, but clearly not something that should drive your purchase of a device or a computer, which is obviously what HP and Asus and Lenovo and Acer are all thinking about. Now, in a couple different areas, HP, for example, has a tower that's specifically built almost like an Echo device unto itself in addition to being a computer. And I think that's going to be interesting to test out, and that's one that we'll want to test out on future Geared Up episodes. But for now, I have to say, do not buy a computer just because Alexa is inside. Clearly, you have many other options to get Amazon's voice assistant, and I would put this in the category for now of novelty. So that is our quick rundown, our quick hands-on review of Amazon's Alexa on the new Acer Spin 5. And for now, I'm Todd Bishop. Andrew Edwards will be back next week. We're looking forward to talking to you next time on Geared Up on GeekWire. Oh.